Hello, kindergarteners. All right, so parents, we're gonna be talking about the Brigance screening that we do um, at the beginning of the year. Um, this is usually done within the three to four week period. Um, so it kind of gives them a, a chance to get used to us. And um, that way when we give this test, they're not gonna be very shy. So what it is, is we'll take them one at a time into another room with us and we'll talk to them and we'll just say things like, what's your name? What's your first name? What's your last name? And so obviously they'll need to tell us the first name, their last name. They'll be asked their age and their birthday. The birthday needs to be the month and the year. I mean, sorry, the month and the day. So like mine's July 17th. That would be it. They don't have to say the year because that's pretty hard to remember as a five-year-old. Um, Another thing that they're gonna be asked is their telephone number. Now, I in, instill in my kids, we always, they, they remember my cell phone number because my cell phone number is a way to get a hold of me all the time. So that's okay if your kid knows the cell phone number as long as they can tell us what it is. They'll just be simply asked, what is your telephone number? And then they should be able to tell us. Another thing is they need to be able to tell us their address and they'll be, we'll, we'll ask, what's your address or where do you live? And so what we're really looking for is the, the road. So like, you know, it could be Rock House Road or 239 Rock House Road. Whatever it is, they need to be able to tell us the house number and the road. Don't have to worry about, you know, Lexington, Kentucky or anything like that. Um, also, another thing that they're going to be asked is body parts. So, their body parts, you know, like um, they'll be asked the thumb, the fingernails, the chin, the shoulders, the chest. And this is the one that is hilarious because you'll get the soul, the heart, <laughs> but it is the chest. Um, and I think there might be, let me look at my notes. There's one more. Oh, the elbow. And um, I've had kids say this is the arm knee. Hilarious. Just make sure they know those um, body parts. Um, one way to um, for them to learn this without quizzing them or killing them out all the time is singing head and shoulders, knees and toes. That will get a lot of them. You can add, you know, thumb and nail chin and elbow, you know, just make it up as you go. And it's really funny because if they've heard it before and it's a little different, they'll think it's hilarious. Um, another thing that you can do um, with my kid, his name is Hunter. And so as a very, very small, I mean, he was two or three, we would say H-U-N-T-E-R, Hunter. Hunter, that's who you are. And it helped him learn how to spell his um, name and also know it. Um, Another thing is um, the phone number. You can make the phone number up in a song, you know. We've all heard 8675309. You know, you could do that with your number or just make it into a song. So when you're driving down the road, you know, when you're talking, you could say, what's your name? What's your last name? Because sometimes they might say, I know my kid, my other kid, his name is Axel. Well, it's hilarious because he'll say, I'm Axel Rose. No, 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 you're not. You're, you're Axel Hockle. So just make sure that they know their first and their true last names. Um, and also their birthday. So their birthday could be really easy as well. You can make it into a song. You just get creative with it and have fun with it. Like I said, don't quiz them all the time with it because it's not apparent that, you know, but we do use this screener as a way to um, qualify them ready for kindergarten or not ready for kindergarten. And this data goes to the district, you know, and they run it all off to see, you know, how many of our kindergartners are coming into our district that are ready for kindergarten. Because these are the things that they should have already known coming in. And this is just a small little bit of what they need to know for this Brigant screener. And I'm, I'll do another video on the next little section that you need to be aware of of the screener.
So thank you so much. We'll talk to you later.